time soldiers on your Pandora's box is an excellent video game. I'm a big fan of this game. And if you know time soldiers, you know that in the arcade it has one of those twisting joysticks as in Heavy Barrel and Akari Warriors so you can rotate your gun. So how do you play it on the Pandora's box? Actually, it's not too hard. Because the Pandora's box lets you configure these six buttons. And one button does turn the stick, uh, your gun this way. The other button turns the other gun this way. So look. Shoot. And special weapon. How am I doing that? It's very easy to configure your buttons, and I, I configured it so this moves your stick left, or your, your gun sight left, this moves your gun sight right, this shoots, and this does special weapon. It takes a little getting used to, but as you can imagine, left, right, left, right, shoot, left, right, left, right, shoot. It is very doable, and some things are worthwhile in this world, and doing what you gotta do to play Time Soldiers is worthwhile. I love how this game is covers different time zones. And there's lots of strategy with how you pick your weapons. Right now I'm firing off my spray shot. And you have that limited amount of special weapon. Or if you die, instantly you lose your special weapon. Special weapons are a big part of this game. And speaking of game, it's not a game if you continue over and over without any consequence. I refuse to do that. So to make it sporting, I give myself 10 credits. Obviously that means 9 continues. And I strictly stop. If you can get to the final level, the game doesn't allow continues past that anyway. And I think that was well programmed. But I refuse. I was just playing this earlier and really wanted to get to the last level. But I'm sorry. I came up short. I count my continues as I do them. And I allow 9 continues. That's it. It's like bringing $2.50 to the arcade back or 7-Eleven back in the day. I also keep track of what my high score is. And when you start a new game, as in continue, the score starts over. That's a good thing. So you can't cheat that. And I'm at about 106,000. I just played through the game as hard as I could, and it, tired, it tires out your hands. So I don't plan to go that far, but I'm trying to make a record attempt right here. And that means the three lives you're given is your best bet. Because it's going to be easier in the beginning. So my best chance of getting a record is in my first three lives. And that's what I'm doing right now. Like I said, as rotating my gun with my other fingers. And it does work. It takes a little getting used to, but it's worth it. Oh, just so you know. It doesn't seem like the two-player works for this particular game on your Pandora's box. Pandora's box is designed with a setup of two controllers, two buttons, and it works very well for most games. But I'm pretty sure for Time Soldiers, they won't let you get a two-player game going. Not sure why. And if you had a friend over, I bet he wouldn't understand about limiting continues. He just wouldn't get it. Nobody gets it, really. Oh, damn, there's one death, and that's... That's bad. I love uh, the, the colors in this game, the graphics, the different attention to detail in the different time zones. I'm going to take the rockets. No? I'm going to take the spray, because I know they're going to give me another spray.
See, there it is. I'm gonna double spray right now. I just packed, doubled up my spray. Got him. I have died once. I wish you could get an extra life. So that's it for my special weapon. I can finish off this T-Rex. Just don't get too close to the boxes. The mid-bosses are extremely hard, but the final bosses? Not that bad if you can just keep your distance. Now, you get some good points for rescuing. The idea is to go to different time zones and rescue these warriors. And uh, you get good points for beating a boss. But it says up top you need to go to Rome. This is not Rome. So you're really trying to keep in mind what the D scanner says. You got to go to the time zone that it says. So if that's not the time zone, you need to get in that time machine and go elsewhere. Like I said, this is a record attempt for me. So I'm not going to continue. And I'm just trying to beat 106,000. It's not going to be easy. I may as well kill all these guys if I'm going for the record. tricky. There's a weapon there, but I got Triceratops and Cavemen all over my ass. This game's challenging. I'm about to face another boss. Rotating that gun as best I can with my th fingers. There he is! Ah, he got me. Damn, I'm not going to break the record, so I'm on my last life. See how I was able to rotate my gun, though? This is time soldiers, man. So you get, need to get out of here and get over to the age of Rome. Normally I continue nine times, but record attempt. Because if I continue, the score is going to start over. Very challenging game if you challenge yourself on your continues or going for a high score like I'm going for. Oh! Damn it. Look at the colors. Just a great game. I love Time Soldiers. If you're wondering how you configure your buttons on the Pandora's box, there's a little button very small like reset button behind you press it and you go to bus button custom and it tells you on the screen if you buy yourself a Pandora's box don't worry everything's very explanatory right on the screen it says to press player one for three seconds now I can figure basically a, B, C, D, E, F, and you, um, they're going to be in order, and then you press the button that you want. I'm going back to normal, so I'm going to go A, B, C, D, E, F, and there it is. And it saves it, and then it says back 1A plus button A, so just player, button A plus one player. It says it on the screen, and the last thing you do need to do is save setting and reboot or it won't save how you change your buttons and then it reboots and whatever you just set the buttons for uh, that's what it does and if, if you're hardcore like me you'll have different settings that you like for certain controls and I made myself a little map and that comes in handy so for Time Soldiers, I wrote, I actually go A, A, B, C, D, E, F. And that way I get the controls going with the left and right. Um, same thing for a game like Strategy X where you want to rotate your, your gun. 
um, from Mortal Kombat and King of Fighters. I kind of have a different setting. And so um, you'll find that you can, you can configure these controls to play better for the game that you chose. Because there's so many games on, uh, look, 2700. Even Mortal Kombat Trilogy, the PlayStation game that costs quite a bit of money. Um, I was even, I even sold my copy of the PS1 Mortal Kombat Trilogy, because I'll, um, as long as it's part of the library of Pandora's Box, see? Man, Baraka is like, almost un- Baraka is almost undefeatable. In this particular version. Excellent. Because he's got this crazy spin move. Fight. Forgot what that move is. Anyway, you get the point. I don't have the buttons configured the way I like, but Mortal Kombat Trilogy is on your uh, Pandora's box. So that's pretty sick. I think you get the point. I can't... I keep pushing it on you guys. Not to mention Punch-Out. I'm talking the arcade version. Plays perfect. Uh, two Tigers. Some rare ones. I would think you got to have this. I store mine right here between my keyboard and my bass amp. Just goes right there, doesn't take up a lot of extra room. Plugs in with, ooh. Reptile just gave me a brutality. brutality. Yeah, you can play that with two people. Uh, just an HD cable and power supply, that's all you need. Plug in your HD, plug in your power supply, and there is no setup or, you know, construction you need to do to play with your Pandora's box. It's pretty sick. You leave a game by pushing these two buttons up here, go to the exit. Hella fighting games. It does have Mortal Kombat 4. Actually, that's Mortal Kombat 3. All these fighting games. And it's got a good amount of uh, Pac-Man Plus. Kung Fu Master, the arcade version, plays perfect. Frogger, the arcade, plays perfect. Not everything translates well to these, this controller, but this game Combat School is actually pretty cool. I, it's, it's worth playing. That Lannis, very hard version of Space Invaders, because once these guys get down to the bottom of the screen, you're effed. You're effed up the ASS. Thrash Rally, a lot of rally games. Load Runner in the house. Load Runner 3. Looks like the same Load Runner. Load Runner. I mean, too many games to mention. I would say, I mean, you could probably get a used one now. I knew a guy who sold his 50, 50 bucks. I mean, we're talking under 100 bucks on, uh, on eBay. Just so many games. Sick amount of shooters. Super Sidekicks is actually a great Space Invaders uh, game. Gun and Frontier, good shooter. I try to give them all some love. Twin Cobra 2, not just Twin Cobra 1. Asterix, oh, Commando, gotta have it. I'll play a game of Commando right now. You still watching? This is a full-on demo. And of course, just, you know, machine gun grenade. <laughs> Nothing, nothing too tricky about that. You can, with some games you'll want the wide, uh, screen like that, and with other games you might want to widen it a little bit. Use your TV.
you're not stuck in one mode. You'll know right away when you load up a game if you're happy with the screen size. I love how there's no cheating in Commando. I just wish you could rotate your gun. That frustrates me to no end. Games like this and Mercs, how you can't rotate your gun. But this is an old favorite of mine, Commando. And I'm still trying to... You can't cheat it. There's no continue. You could give yourself more lives, I think. I'm not going to do that. Pandora's box does allow for some switching of lives. I chose not to go with five lives. Oh, damn. I'll never understand anyone who plays emulations and then just cheats. Play the way you want, it's your money, but... Unlimited continues? That's not a game. Not even Billy Mitchell would cheat like that. I've seen him in interviews. He doesn't he's not all about the continues. Well, we know he likes save states, but Alright, I'll be level one. You're probably thinking like, why don't you just play this all the time? I do. <laughs> it's a Wednesday, I'm off, and I'm a grown man, and I'm playing Pandora's Box. I'm playing Punch-Out today, Time Soldiers, Commando. Oh, I'm out of grenades. Oh, I shot the... Oh, you see that? I shot the Jeep. One big thing about Pandora's Box, it does not save high scores. Real, that's a bummer. I'd probably buy a whole nother one if they just added the... A sa if it saved all high scores. Better drop some grenades in this hole. You're always throwing your grenades kind of ahead of yourself, trying to give yourself... A better chance when you approach something. Oh. Oh. It probably looks better on the skinnier uh, screen setting. Tighter graphics. Wish I could easily change. I'm going to grenade this yeah, I love how you put cracks in it. Oh, I didn't finish him. And that's Commando. Well, that's just another demo of Pandora's Box. Gunsmoke is on here. Um, a lot like Commando, but fire different ways. You exit. Doesn't say fine scores. Elevator action returns. Great game, but don't be cheating with all your continues. It does have, it's got mad planets, and that is also something you can change the buttons to play, um, so you can rotate the gun. Pac-Man Plus, the Pac-Mans don't work with the joystick well, gotta tell you that right now. Um, almost not worth it. Look at the crazy Miss Pac-Man variation. I like this. It's kind of fun to play a variation, but um, like I said, uh, the Pac-Man ones with the joystick don't work. I guess it's working okay. Look at that screen. Something different, man. Yeah, the controller can just be tricky with... We all know about these kind of joysticks with the clicks. And they do not work for Pac-Man, never. You need that... I pretty much don't play the Pac-Mans on here. Anyway, thanks for watching this long video about Pandora's box. Take care.